was a regular night in America's favorite toilet, Hollywood. My caseload had run dry and everything had turned into a dead end. I needed a shave. I needed a dame. I needed to remember to get more milk. But more importantly, I needed a case. I had been topping off my fifth glass of grade A hooch when she walked in. I knew this dame was trouble from the moment she walked through my door. Let a professional handle this. No self-respecting bird comes into a man's office, dabbing stains out of pants. A professional what? I was in a Tide commercial. Hold still. Yeah, she was trouble all right, and she knew it. She had it in spades, and not the kind of spades you get in a game of cards. The kind you use to dig a shallow grave. Your TV broads are all the same. Say. While you're down there. Look, I want to be straight with you. I don't have a dime to my name and this outfit is rented all the way down to the socks. I'm here to hire you, Mr. Gillis. Someone very close to me has recently gone missing. I had to think on my feet. This wasn't a decision to be taken lightly. I'll take it. Wait. It wasn't your cat, was it? No. Then I'll take your case. You will? Absolutely. The name is Dick Gillis, private investigator. Every girl dreams of her own private dick. Whoa, slow down there, little lady. Talk that fast, look at your prescription of penicillin and a bad case of whiplash. What's your name? Plain Jane. Plain Jane. One and the same. Well, if you don't mind me saying, you don't seem very... No. Yes. It was a nickname in high school. You know how girls can be. Mm, feminine. With an unhealthy religious shoes. Long story short, I had some work done. I see. You can just call me Jane. Well, the name's still Dick. Besides, I don't have your number. You need to find my husband. That face. I knew that face. Mm. He seems funny. But from where? Four hundred dollars. What? The ad. It was to defee of four hundred dollars. Well, I was thinking about expenses. Endless coffee runs, donuts, cigarettes. And cigarettes don't grow on trees. More like out of the ground. Don't be stupid. <laughs> the ground. What are you saying? Well, I'm saying that maybe you should go home and wait for your husband like a good girl. What's the big idea? What kind of woman do you take me for? I take you for the kind of woman who doesn't want to waste her time on a man who doesn't leave little messages on the fridge. Who doesn't wait to see her two luscious pump jack hips swinging from side to side. A man? A man who looks like this. Well, he's... He's... I don't have to prove anything to you. Jane, darling, it's not me you're trying to convince. You're drunk. You're stupid. What was that? Jane, I know where your husband is. That's wonderful. Where is he? He's right here. In this very room. Well? Well, it started about a week ago tonight. On a night much like tonight. A woman came to me looking for a man. Much like you did, but I wasn't able to piece it together until just now. The woman wanted to keep tabs on her man. She suspected he was cheating on her. This makes up for 90% of my cases. They just had to go my route versus going to see a shrink. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So there I was tailing this snake, and guess what I found? He was cheating? Yeah, but that's not the best part. He was cheating on his girlfriend with his wife. <gasps> I don't believe it. I, I uh, drew some pictures there, kind of kind of crude, but you, know, you could tell the kind of things that they were up to. Is there a point to this, or are you just trying to woo me with your client's tales of woe? All in good time, sugar lips. And believe me, when you see my point, you'll feel it. The man made me as soon as I discovered this information. He broke my camera, destroyed my car, and even took the cigarette from my mouth. My cigarette. God, I love my cigarette. I still don't see how this has anything to do with me. That man, that godless man. I had no choice but to hog time and throw him in my closet. Skip to the end. Mrs. Hoffman, drum roll if you please. How did you? Drum roll, please. And that man is none other than. Oh! My husband! Your what? Gary, darling, are you alright? He's fine. <laughs> For the love of God, please help me! Case closed! <laughs> so, uh, how about that check, Debbie Cakes? Gillis is spelled G I double L I. I think I'm stupid, but that was the only man I ever loved. A little, but there, there. Look, that man there is dead to you. I'm still here. 
There ain't nothing left in this sin-ridden claptrap gonna bring him back. Oh, I love you. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Don't say anything, dollface. Just shut your mouth and swallow mine. What the hell's wrong with you people? Wait, what about him? Who, your closet husband? He needs to think about what he did. You bastard! Jane! Camera. Well, no, we don't need sound. MOS. Slate it. Okay. <laughs> Shot forty nine. Take one. Action. <laughs> Your nose. I'm sorry. I know it hurt. <laughs> I bet it did. Mm -hmm. Camera. Slate it. <clears throat> Shot forty five. Take one. And action. A. There are plenty of fish in the sea. That's a really big sea. Besides, you're only 28 years young. I'm 37. Oh, you really did have work done. <laughs> Please, stop crying. Okay. You're uncomfortable. 